Welcome. In this video, I'm going to go over the procedure for connecting up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse to a Raspberry Pi computer. So if you find this video helpful, I'll put a link in the description to the hardware I'm using. And if you use that link, it helps me out a little bit and doesn't cost you anything extra. So the keyboard I'm using is a Jellycomb keyboard, and that was provided to me by Jellycomb, but they're not compensating me for this video and they're not reviewing it before I post it. And this keyboard has the ability to connect to three different computers. So there are three Bluetooth buttons on here, and you can choose channel one, two, or three. So I'm putting this on channel two on this keyboard. So if I want to use it on a different computer, I can program those on the other channels. And the mouse I'm using is an Apple Bluetooth mouse, and it's a couple years old, it's not the latest one. So I have the Bluetooth devices off right now, and you may have noticed that I'm on a Mac screen right now. The reason I'm doing that is I want to demonstrate how to do this over SSH. So I'll be typing some commands in here, and you can type them in on the Raspberry Pi if you have a keyboard to connect to your Raspberry Pi. Because in order to set up Bluetooth on a Raspberry Pi, you have to connect up a USB keyboard and mouse. So if you don't have those things, you can use this technique I'm showing you. So I'll put a link in the description of my Raspberry Pi playlist, and you'll find a video on there on how how to set up a headless Raspberry Pi. So what you do is you stick the SD card in your computer and you'll find a boot folder and you just put a file in there called SSH. When you do that, it enables SSH on the Raspberry Pi. I also put a link below to the video notes on this of the commands I'm typing in. So first I need to connect to the Raspberry Pi. So this is a relatively fresh install. So I'll just type SSH space pi at raspberry pi dot local. I'll hit enter. I'll type in my password and now I'm logged into the Raspberry Pi. I'll clear my screen. I want to turn Bluetooth on, so I'll copy this here. And like I said, you can type this right into the Raspberry Pi too if you have a keyboard. So it said agent registered, and now we're at a Bluetooth prompt. So we're not in a regular shell anymore. We're in a Bluetooth program to configure it. So I'll type agent on here. I'll hit enter. Then I'll type default agent. And there's a dash in between those words. And I'll type scan on, and this will scan for Bluetooth devices. So I'll hit that, and now I'm going to turn the keyboard on. And it'll take a second here for it to register the keyboard. Oh, I need to put the keyboard in pairing mode. And that can be different depending on the device. On this one, I just hold down the key and it starts flashing. Okay, so it found it there. I'm going to turn the scan off. So I'll type scan space off and that turns scan off. So I want to copy this MAC address here. And I'm copying and pasting here. But on a Raspberry Pi terminal, you wouldn't be able to copy and paste. So you could just type this in also. It's not that hard to type in. So I want to pair this keyboard. So I'll type pair space and I'll enter in the MAC address. And now it says attempting to pair, and it says it connected it, yes. So I'm also recording the screen on this Raspberry Pi. So I can open up a terminal there, and I have a wired mouse plugged in here, but you don't have to. I'm just demonstrating that this is connected. So I opened up a terminal, and I'll type in there. So the Bluetooth keyboard is working. So technically speaking, we could go over to the Raspberry Pi and start configuring the mouse with our newly connected Bluetooth keyboard. So I'm not a Bluetooth expert, but when you reboot this, it may not pair up correctly. So what you want to do next is trust it. So we'll type trust space, I'll copy in that MAC address again, and that will trust it. So now I want to connect the mouse. So I'll turn the scan on, I'll hit enter, and then I'll turn the mouse on, and we'll watch for it to come up. And this can take a few seconds. There, it came up pretty quick actually. So I'll turn scan off. Okay, and say I need to see the devices because they scrolled past or something, I can type in devices and it will show me the devices. So you can see Rick's mouse here. So I'll select this, I'll type pair in the MAC address. It says attempting to pair. Okay, it paired it. Now I'm moving the mouse and it's not moving on my Raspberry Pi. So what I need to do here is type connect, space, and then paste in that MAC address and now the mouse is going to move. So now if I reboot this, it won't work. So I need to type trust again in the MAC address, and now it's ready to work if I reboot it. So when I first tested this and set it up, the keyboard didn't need to be trusted, but the mouse did. But I just trusted both, that way it's all covered. So prior to trusting it, when I rebooted, the keyboard did work, but the mouse didn't. So now I'll exit out of here. I think I turned scan off, but I'll turn it off again if I didn't, yeah, okay. So I'll exit out of here, I'll just type exit. Now I'll reboot the Raspberry Pi. I'll type sudo space system ctl space reboot. And that will reboot the Raspberry Pi. Okay, we're back up and running. Okay, so the mouse is paired up. I'll open up a terminal. And I'm typing on the keyboard. It can take a second for this stuff to pair up. There we go. So if you're in the graphical interface, you can use the Bluetooth menu to do Bluetooth stuff. But it's nice to know how to do it on the terminal in case you're working on a system without a graphical interface. So if we want to remove these devices, we can do it right here. I'll do it on the Raspberry Pi. I'll type sudo space Bluetooth CTL, and I can type in devices. I'll type it in correctly this time. There we go. And to remove these, I will type remove space, and I'll remove the mouse first, because if I remove the keyboard first, I won't be able to remove the mouse. So I'll copy this paste the MAC address in, 
and now the mouse doesn't work. Now I do have a backup mouse here, a USB mouse. <laughs> so to remove the keyboard, you wouldn't want to do this if you don't have another keyboard because this is gonna take us out of the system. So I'll type remove, space, and I'll type in that MAC address. I'm not sure if this is case sensitive. I'm guessing it's not, so I'm going to find that out now. Yep, it worked, okay. So I hit enter a couple times there and it registered it, but now it's deleted. So now the keyboard's not working anymore with this. So that's how you can connect up a Bluetooth keyboard and mouse on the command line on a Raspberry Pi. Even if you don't regularly use a Bluetooth keyboard or mouse, it's not a bad idea to find one and connect it up and practice using these utilities because they can come in handy someday. So that's all I'm going to cover in this video. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments. If you like this video, please click like. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, I'd appreciate if you could do that. And thanks for watching. Until next time, goodbye.